So the Great Voltager is next. This is a big Group 2 for three year olds. It's normally a Ledger Tron, but we've only got five runners in it this, this year. And Future Treasures at the top for Craig Beckwith. Seal of the Cry and Leon Van Rinsberg. Mix of Intrigue, Joshua Sutherland, Persian King, Dan Hughes, and Storm Murmur, David Robertson. So whether any of these will be headed for the St. Ledger next week, who knows? But that's what the race initially was. I never understood really why they make these trial races two furlongs shorter than the actual race itself. You'd have thought the St. Ledger trial would have been over one mile six, wouldn't you? But anyway, off they go. A Persian King on the outside, just about the first to show. From a mix of intrigue, second. And the scene of the crime is on the inside rail in fourth. Uh, just the five, they'll all pick up a decent prize for this flat race. Uh, group two as well. So Persian King has settled down into a full length lead from Mix of Intrigue in second. Then Storm Murr is third. Future Treasure after that one on the scene of the crime. As they make their way down towards the final mile in this one. And Persian King leads the voltage in the field from a mix of intrigue in second storm murmur in third and then future treasure fourth with the scene of the crime that's the tail end charlie but plenty of time to make up for that and this big galloping york track and mix Mer oh, oh, yeah. persian king is in the lead from mix of intrigue second and storm murmur third and future treasure fourth scene of the crime Getting just that little bit closer. But he's maybe running himself into a little bit of trouble there going up the inside. You'd think if the jockey thought he got plenty of horse underneath him, he wouldn't be taking that risk that if mix of intrigue stops, he's got nowhere to go. Well, he could have just quite easily pulled around the outside. Sometimes you think these jockeys, and you can see there now that scene of the crime could be quickening up, but he's just in a little bit hampered there. But it's Persian King who's still in front from mix of intrigue storm murmur now goes for home now scene of the crime gets going future treasure is the one out the back but suddenly persian king has been taken by storm murmur two and a half furlongs to go and storm murmurs hit the front persian king is second now scene of the crime's trying to get going the one mix of intrigue has dropped right out of it and uh, future treasure's trying to run on but it's storm murmur then with a furlong and a half to go storm murmurs two left clear persian king sticking on scene of the crime not finding a lot under pressure future treasure's trying to run on but it's storm, storm murmur storm murmur well inside the final furlong and they don't know what they're going to get to this one Storm Murmur is going to take this I think inside the final half furlong and the jockey had a little sneaky look then now Scene of the Crime starts to get going but it's too late Storm Murmur takes it Scene of the Crime second future treasure mix of intrigue and then Persian King and a curious race that because like Scene of the Crime got itself into unnecessary bother maybe it started its run a little bit earlier it might have got there but Storm Murmur takes it for David Robertson Scene of the Crime for Leon Van Rensburg was second Future Treasure Craig Beckwith was third Mix of Intrigue Joshua Southern fourth Persian King for Dan Hughes was fifth and it'll be interesting to see how they all fare next week if they take each other on again in the ledger <laughs>